Hey guys, what's up? I'm Teresa, and if you're new to my channel, we have a uh, new student joining us. First off, welcome. God damn it, welcome. I'm from Michigan. Great. Guys, this quarantine thing has been doing wonders for my binge watching game. Um, most recently, I sat down to watch Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam CJ Walker. Um, I don't really know anything about Madam CJ Walker, so I didn't really have any expectations going into it. Uh, so I was really curious to see what it was about. And of course, it was starring Octavia Spencer and Tiffany Haddish, so it's like, it's probably gonna be a pretty decent series. And it was, I really enjoyed it overall. Um, basically, just to kind of give you a summary, uh, Madam CJ Walker was a woman who created uh, hair growth products or you know, hair products for black women which is always a great thing to have products that are specifically made for black, black, for black women because our hair is just on a different level, you know what I mean, right? My own hair, make my own hair grow up. Come on! Missy, I don't take orders no more. Lincoln freed me 40 years back. That's why I'm gonna pay you. And that's why you're my favorite daughter-in-law. <laughs> Sisters, let's talk about hair. They put us down, tell us we're ugly, make us feel ugly. Wonderful hair leads to wonderful opportunities. Mama. You sure on something. You can call me queen. I want a whole line of products, which is why I want to open my own factory. There's such a thing as growing too fast. Um, at the beginning, she was a washerwoman, and she had really low self-esteem. Um, so she, before she became Madam CJ Walker, she was um, known as Sarah, Breed love and so she was a washerwoman and she met this woman who promised to give her hair treatments um, Addie she promised to give her hair treatments that would help her grow her hair and it worked and because it worked so well uh, Sarah wanted to go into business with her but Addie didn't want to have her associated with her product so Sarah decided she was gonna make her own hair product and that was the beginning of her business and she grew it to be really successful and she helped a lot of women but not one of the things I really admired about her was her ambition and actually her determination and her persistence she knew what she wanted for herself hair is beauty hair is power damn Sarah how big you want to be big Carnegie Ford and Rockefeller put together and she knew that where she was in life at that moment, at the beginning of the series as a washerwoman, was not where she wanted to end up. And because she had that dream and that drive, she was so determined. And her determination was just beyond anything that I guess anyone at that time, because the her life um, spans through the 1800s and to the early 1900s so at that time she really was all oh, forced to be reckoned with a woman who was beyond her time basically um, I guess you guys, if you guys know the saying um, be fearless in the, in the pursuit of what sets your, your soul on fire or something like that I feel like Madam T.J. Walker was the epitome of that saying because she had this burning passion and desire and sheer determination to make her product and make her business the best that it could be. Man's world. It's just not our place. I didn't come here to make sandwiches. I came here to do business. Oh, I know. What you gonna do now, sir? Go let no God steal your dream, mama. And one of the things I also loved about her was that she was all about the advancement of, of women, of black women in particular. She believed strongly in female entrepreneurship and um, she was so confident in, um, in what she was doing that in the film she actually, sorry I keep calling it a film but it's a series, in the series she actually went to try to get an endorsement from Booker T. Washington and she went to one of his, one of his conventions and instead of being in the back with the wives, she wanted to be in the auditorium with the men because she wanted to get up and be able to speak to all the men because she was looking for endorsements and um, investors. And she waltzed up on that stage and she let those men have it. She basically told them like, look, if you wanna advance the race, you wanna uplift the race, then you need to be supporting 
you're black women and I just thought that that was really what brave of her and just really just really bold and really outspoken I'm a ruler. We gotta work harder, be smarter. And dream big. Uh, her husband, CJ Walker, for the most of the film, he was very um, supportive, but you could see that in the back of his mind, there were moments where he felt, I guess, like she put everything into this business and didn't have anything to put into their marriage. Ah! One of the things about women being successful is that it always seems to come with like, well, I guess success in, in a sense when you're running a business does come with sacrifice. Come on, tell them. And unfortunately, I think her marriage is one of the sacrifices that she ended up making for to be successful because I think her husband just felt like, you know, he was there supporting her, supporting her, supporting her, but she, he was not getting that support in return, um, which was unfortunate, uh, you know, and even with her daughter, she, she really pushed her daughter to be um, part of her business, and at first her daughter was reluctant, but eventually came around and ran a successful salon in New York, which was really, um, really great to see her daughter step up and take on that role, but she also, Sarah also had these dreams for her daughter that her daughters did not um, share. You know, she wanted grandchildren. Ah. Her daughter, I think her daughter just wasn't at a place at that time where she could potentially be, potentially give her, her, her grandchildren. Ah. It was really interesting to see how the dynamics of their relationship progressed over the years, both with her husband and her daughter. Um, I think that for uh, Sarah, she just was so determined and she didn't let anyone, you know, hold her back. She went through a lot of obstacles, everything from like her salon burning down to her best sales agents leaving her to her arch nemesis, Addy, um, you know, constantly in her face trying to bring her down. Yeah, so she went through a lot of obstacles, but she always managed to find a way to come out on top. And I think that that's a really great quality to have as a, not just as a woman, but just as anyone, you know, but, as, but especially as a woman, because I think a lot of times we as women tend to, we shouldn't tend to shrivel back and hold back ourselves, I think, um, and to, you know, not, we don't let our light shine as often as we probably can. Good. And I think it was really great to see a black woman in, in those times being so sure of herself, so determined. I mean, even down to like going out and meeting with potential investors and things like that. She always wanted to be a part of the conversation. She never really even let, liked her husband to talk on her behalf. Come on, tell him. She wanted to be in that room, basically selling her products to these people because who knows her product better than. So I think that was really inspiring of her. At times, I felt like maybe she was a bit much, but I think where she was coming from in life, being a washerwoman, being someone that was not confident and just someone who really believed in herself, I think she kind of had to be a little bit hard um, at times and because I think she knew that if she wasn't, if she didn't stand up for herself, if she didn't have that confidence, if she didn't speak up for herself and she wasn't bold and brave, that her dream would not come true. And I think there are a lot of lessons we can learn from her as, um, as, a, as a woman and I think she's really inspiring and I, I thought it was just a great way to spend my Saturday night um, just watching her, you know, triumph, you know, even though she was not down, she came back and it was each time she came back bigger and better um, than she was before, you know, so I think that was really cool. Um, I think that, for like I said, like I didn't know anything about her life, so I didn't have any expectations, but I did read um, an article on CNN about it, and um, this particular author said that they were really disappointed because they felt 
felt like the film, the, the series didn't really highlight her philanthropy. Like she was really big on giving back to her community. And yeah, the film didn't really focus, um, the series didn't really focus on that as much. And I think it would have been great to see that. But um, she really was about the advancement of black women. And that was one of the things she talked about to her, her employees was that she, she basically promised them if they stick with her that she would make all their dreams come true. And her business went on to do really well. She became the first female, um, first female self-made millionaire. And she bought a house next to Rockefeller, um, which was incredible. You know, so that was an incredible feat for a woman of her time, for a black woman of her time. Um, so it just goes to show you that if you have a dream and if you work hard because she didn't like she didn't slack off. She worked really hard. You work really hard and you stick to your vision and you stick to your gut instincts and you go with you know, you go with your conviction and you just believe in yourself, you can make your dreams come true. definitely check out Self Me, inspired by the life of Matt and CJ Walker. Alright, so that's all the time I have for you guys today. Uh, please comment down below if you've seen it, what you think, uh, you know, did you like it or did you feel like it could have gone, there could have been more because, you know, I was surprised that it was just four episodes long. I definitely think we could have, I definitely thought it would have been a little bit longer, but it was it was good. Like I said, I didn't, I don't know anything about her life, so to me, I didn't have any expectations. So it was good for what it was. Um, you know, maybe if I did like, was, maybe if I did know about her life, I would have more of an expectation, and maybe, maybe it wouldn't have satisfied me. But I think it's pretty good on its own, and I definitely recommend that you check it out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.